Namaste, love and light, fire signs. I hope all is well with you guys. I send y'all my love and light, goodness, and prosperity. Okay, so um, some of y'all could have been dealing, like, what is this, love? Y'all been dealing with love, okay? Maybe you've been, I don't know, fighting love, or love been hard for you. Or you've been going through a lot of eternal conflicts with love, pretending to love. I feel like you need to speak how you feel, pretending to love. Maybe somebody ain't loving you properly, fire signs, and, and y'all want to be cuddled or y'all want to be, you know, TLC. You need to speak how you feel and continue to walk your spiritual path. Do not allow a Jezebel to cross up your path here, all right? Because I feel like she's trying to get to you. Some a Jezebel trying to get to your head about an, um, another masculine. It's like you could feel it. You just be knowing shit, and this bitch be in denial. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. But she is doing this. She she thinks she's funny, or she thinks she's being funny. She's not funny. All right? She's not hilarious at all. I'm hearing, she, who is this? I'm getting just hilarious. I don't know. Okay? But um, maybe they think they just hilarious. Bitch, you... <laughs> You is not just hilarious. Or this person think they're just hilarious. Like, shut up. You're not funny. Why is a woman holding a coin here? A spirit is telling me to clarify. Because I feel like she's trying to cross you up with a lot of cloudiness. And she's getting exposed. She done been exposed. Some of y'all could be Leo. She done been exposed already. Like, this is this is hilarious. Alright, maybe she thinks she's just hilarious. Because she, she was saying a lot of shit about you. Talking about, like, I'm getting a cookbook. I don't know why that's significant. Or maybe she talked about your cooking. All right, talked about your mom, family, on the why mom is showing up. All right, maybe she need to heal things with her mom. Okay, but um, damn, what is this with, with this book? I feel like she is almost like spirit. It's like you know all that she said. Okay, you yeah, cause spirit is like spirit. Listen. Spirit done, it's like read you her Akashic records as well. It's like you guys, y'all have ascended masters that guide you, and they're tapped into the Akasha. They, Spirit read you her Akashic records. That bitch, she's facing a lot of karma. And that's why she's um on the, the in, in the energy that she's in. The demon is riding her ass. She's facing a lot of karma. These people think they knew your Akasha, but they was wrong. Why are they always thinking they know and stuff about people? I don't like that. Yeah, and listen, they, they trying to keep you covered in a lot of darkness. Like, keep your third eye closed. They're trying to keep your third eye closed in the dark. They're trying to stop you from knowing the things that you know. And these people, they, they know they low-key want to be like you. It's pretty sad and disgusting and degrading. And they're trying to send a whole bunch of obstacles and challenges to you. I don't know why it's not going to work. I'm getting vague because it could be a group of them that's attacking your destiny, your starlight. They're trying to cross you up with a lot of hexes. I'm getting, like, hexes are standing out. They're trying to hex you to slow you down, all right, to, like, you know, reverse the energy that's coming in for you. All right, they're trying to, like, you know, hurt you as well with curses. And you are protected by a lot of lucky energy. A lot of that's being transmuted, but they gossip about you a lot. They gossip about your looks and everything. They really did. I'm telling you, y'all, they really did try to keep you in the dark. They really try to block your destiny. And I feel like people are seeing that about this person now. Like, they all about money or they're like a crab in the bucket. They want to be first. They want to be number one and everything. All right, and they can't accept the fact that other people are number one. Some of y'all could be... Excuse me, dealing with a water sign. I mentioned that in water signs, that water signs is number one. All right, some of y'all could be a water sign with um, fire placements. You could be a fire sign with water placements, okay? And you need to check that reading out because I feel like you are naturally number one or and, and you know, well, number one compared to this person. And I feel like you are, is like, you know, being viewed as number one right now in, in the divine eyes because of the hard work you put in and the, and the demons that you done conquered and fought and defeated. All right, and this is it's like and it's other. It's like I also picked up there's other ones, other beings that's number one too. But you are standing out right now, and you deserve this praise. You deserve this accolades. So I feel like you know, or this person, you know, they could be a low vibrational water sign that think that they want they could be number one. All right, and and then I feel like I don't know. I feel like somebody's gonna get punched in their lips or get there. Like I'm seeing somebody getting punched in the mouth or some shit. Maybe this person was saying this about you. I'll punch you in the mouth. Blah, blah, blah. A bunch of random stuff is coming up. But I feel like this person, they was trying to distract you from your destiny. They know they did a lot of spell work to block you from your path, all right? To distract you from your destined path. They did. They didn't want this to be your destiny. I don't know. This person tried to play God in their life, in your life, and other people's life. They really thought they can, like, take control of your, your starlight. You guys are being guided by the stars, all right? Your destiny. It's like you guys were, like, guided towards your destiny. Your destiny is guiding you. 
all right your destiny is your guide that's your purpose as long as you following your purpose that's that's your guide alone for you to keep for you to know where to go all right and yeah i'm telling you they try to really send you obstacles and challenges with a lot of hexes and when that didn't work they started doing death hexes death curses they they was basically like fuck it i'm gonna just kill you fuck it that's what yeah i'm telling you this is someone they do it a lot and some of y'all was finding it's hard to believe that this was happening to you because you like why would this person you know do this like why would they even need to know they're crazy they think a lot of people trying to kill them they think that a lot of people trying to kill them they think that so they just out here sending the death threats to a lot of other people too i'm telling you they're a child it's like they're being like used as well and played by the by the the spirits that's using them yeah they got like a fucking reaper around them a death angel or some some type of some type of dark spirit that's just riding them that's using them and making them think all these people trying to kill them got them all childish and shit this shit stands out because i don't know why i'm getting this stand out to y'all fire signs because y'all feel to make the karmic trying to do death spells on you like and this happens a lot like a lot of you guys be hoping not today not today but man listen they're gonna do it you listen they're gonna cross you up I did this, but you're wasting your time hoping that they're not because that's what they're doing. That's what they do. They're, they're fucking hoping you don't know. And maybe that's you, you know, hoping that it, it don't happen today. Maybe that's like fucking counteracting that thought of you not knowing. I don't know. All right. But you need to um just accept the fact that this is what they do. You accepting it is going to make your life a lot more easier because you won't be in, in denial about these people. Like they're, if they're fucked up, they're just fucked up. This person have a lot of mountains along their path. All right, they if they make the wrong move, they slip up, they may stumble across death. But either way it goes, their path is crossed up for doing illegal voodoo. All right, yeah, they was a sneaky person at work. They was very sneaky, very cunning. Or they would just they don't have to be at work. This would just be a sneaky person, very sneaky, very cunning. They thought they could like you know suck like sucker punch you with spell work, you know. And I'm getting, this person will sneak dish you a lot and act like and pretend like they not sneak dissing you. What the fuck? All right, and a lot of people peep game and caught on to their fuckery. It's like, this person is obvious. Do they they really think people can, like, these karmics are going down. They the only ones that can't see themselves going down. All right, and it's not meant for them to see it. All right, it's just not. It's a part of their purpose. All right, it's a part of them snapping into reality. They're going to realize, like, damn, I was so damn stupid that I couldn't even see that, you know, I was going down. I need to stop letting whatever was riding me, riding me. It's a damn demon. I'm telling you. A dark one, too. Like a reaper. A dark angel. That they use to attack people. And, and that's being exposed. They done pay all type of demons to harm you. They even pay people that work with demons to harm you. And, they, and listen, this is someone that thought they had the keys to your knowledge. They knew everything about you, and they're like, the spirit's going to whoop your ass. Those demons that you got controlling you, go whoop your ass. Shut the fuck up. All right, this karmic done stole everything from you. I mean, even even the shit that you say. Certain shit you say, they took it from you. You a, set, you a trendsetter, um, setter, okay? A true queen of wands. And here go this broad, saying the spirit's going to do this and third. I know they feel like an idiot. They should. Let me see if there's anything else. This person, I feel like they standing out because they did death spells. They did, and they, and they sent you a lot of death threats with the spirits, and now they want healing and forgiveness. They hoping you can forgive them. And like, get out of here. Listen, scream, get out. All right, somebody need to fucking scare a demon away. All right. That's what I'm freaking getting. I forgot to use my um my spiritual cards. I done forgot to use those for my Lionsgate portal. I really did. But um oh well. But let's just keep going. Because I mean I wanted to add like a spiritual message, but I guess that's the message that needed to come out. 
All right, yeah, you are extraordinary. Bam, period. That just give me fire sign energy. And I feel like whatever your ace of wands is, your, your creative spark is extraordinary. Like somebody's really impressed with you, but they're trying to pretend like they're not. You're going to, I feel like business partnerships are on the way, fire signs. Right when I said that, wow, ace of coins, business partnerships on the way. That's like, these opportunities are a part of your path. They're like being guided towards you and you're being guided towards them. All right, so it's, it's, it's working out naturally. All right. Yeah, you you know, you could be hoping that everything works out, but it is because it's all divine love. I feel like, honestly, you know, I feel like you're going to start dealing with people that comes with a lot of love in their heart. They're not cold. Yeah, they're like, if anything, they want to heal. They don't want to be in low vibrations. They don't want to harm people. They don't want to be in karmic energy. They don't, they, you know, they, it's like you're going to be dealing with people that are smart spiritually. They just don't let anyone do spell work for them or let anyone read their energy you're going to be around people that are like they have strong protective boundaries and they are true to their awakening fire signs you need to be around people that are true to their awakening these people are not true to their awakening they say that they are but they really they was fighting against your ace of wands they was fighting against the dreams that you're manifesting and making tangible they was fighting against your self-worth they didn't want you to value yourself and they was actually doing spells to make you be in that Low vibrational dark energy where you're just stuck and not feeling yourself. Basically, in devil energy. I mean, runs devil. Wait, devils run. Wait, run devil run. Right. I feel some of y'all could be using that. All right. Somebody could be using the devil shoe string against you. They trying to protect them. They doing all this protective shit for nothing. They don't need to protect themselves from you. They need to fucking protect themselves from the from the, they not well. Even if they try to protect themselves from karma, God, universe, it ain't gonna work. But technically, that's what they need. That's who they need to protect themselves from. It ain't you. Okay, they need to protect themselves from not even your spirit team. God, universe, karma. And, and, and they really can't, if they try to do that, it's going to piss God, universe, even more off. Piss them even more off. So they just need to just let it go. This is a, They wanted to keep you binded to the devil, to their, to, to their curses and any other hexes they use. I'm telling y'all, Capricorn energy, Aquarius energy, y'all stand out. So this person was like, I got to keep you hexed. I got to keep you stuck so you won't ascend. Basically, yeah, you guys were liberated and free from that. Y'all literally like, it's like, it's like I'm seeing y'all coming out of the energy they try to put you in. Like literally, they try to put you in a box, keep you in a, in a shell, and you cracking out of that shell. You don't even deserve that. The hell? This person dealing with so much in the background over a fucking masculine. They need to get over that. Aries energy. They need to get over this bullshit masculine energy. They, they, it's like this masculine got them all cursed and, and, and weighed down to darkness. Low vibrational darkness. It's like, yeah, they fucking made sacrifices in order to keep this masculine and keep this spark alive. And it's time for them to stop doing that because it, it's, it got them stressed out over this masculine. It got them grudgeful and hateful towards other, other feminines because they jealous this masculine going to find them more prettier than her. She needs to fucking detach from these dumb demons too. All right, I'm telling you, this person worked with no fucking demons, with fucking with fucking demons. Okay, all right, ten of swords. I feel like she just betrays herself. She's she's like a self sabotaging type of person, and she rejects and hates herself most of the time because of what she did. She know what she did is the reason why she in karma, and she see that you ascending. She wants you to help her. She wants you to help her ascend. She may want to try to come back around and be your friend, but it's like it's it's too late. He or she just calls to be a he. Take out resonate, but I'm getting a strong feminine energy. All right, because this person could just be trying to mirror you and copy you a lot, fire signs, and and, and y'all could be feminine. It's because you know your worth. She won't be attacking you if you was a nobody. Period. Point blank. All right, this person need to control their demons. All right, they need to control their demons. Period. But I love y'all. Y'all going um. Well, let me see what's the energy going to be like for the rest of this month. All right. I feel like this was just like confirmation for you guys to let y'all know y'all not crazy. I feel like y'all know what y'all need to do. But let me just see. What's the energy going to be like for the rest of this month? Look, victory. You're going to have victory and success over your, over your enemies. You're going to have victory and success over your enemies. Period. Point blank. So keep healing. Keep healing for the collective. Keep healing for your bloodline, yourself. Just keep healing, okay? Love y'all. Namaste.